welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning for the week of May 11th through the 17th. I'm going to be using this stunning Harriet Wright Designs kit. This is my first time using one of her kits. I'm really excited to see how it is, how it goes. Um, so I'm just going to flip through this real fast. I did haul it, but that was a long time ago. So um, I think it came with these um, foiled bow headers, which are stunning. I just love the colors in this kit. I think they're really, really beautiful, um, and you can never go wrong with bow headers. I, I think they came with the kit. I could have picked them up um, as an add-on, but that might have actually been it. I'm not sure. Anyways, the options there. Um, you get nine full boxes. It's on this buttery matte paper. I love it to pieces. That gold foiling is just stunning. So um, I love this artwork. I really wanted to pick it up. I think I've seen a couple of shops use this artwork. It's just beautiful. Gosh, look at those full check boxes. I won't be using those, but they're stunning. All of the foil. You got half boxes, quarter boxes, sidebar items. These colors are so light, um, but you have your headers, little things, habit trackers, bill dues. Um, so I'm going to try something new today. This is a functional page. I'm glad she has date covers because I was whiting things out and was like, you know what? I haven't even looked through this kit and there's a very great chance that she does not have date covers in her kit and I will be screwed because I don't have date covers. And then your bottom washi um, page. I love these little work and to do arrows. Those are really beautiful. And um, oh my gosh, the strip of washi, stunning. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing something a bit different today. I'm a little nervous, but really excited about it. There's so many um, headers to choose from. I'm definitely gonna lean towards this. I just don't know if I'm gonna use all three. I wanna use this bottom washi, except I don't think it'll get me through both sides. So maybe I'll use a different bottom washi. And then I just noticed the single bow. Um, headers. So I'm going to use that. Today I'm going to try not using checklists at all. I've been in the habit in my planning style for a bit of where I put my full boxes down here, which I'm still going to do, and then my check list up here. But since we're in quarantine, um, since I post memory their memory planning, um, I don't know if I want to have the checklist in there. Um, necessarily so I'm gonna see how this week goes without checklists if I love it maybe it'll be something new if I don't I can always go back so I'm really excited so I think we're gonna do home sweet home here obviously May we were still in quarantine I mean okay wait no okay what am I doing it's been so long since I've planned I have not, I mean, obviously it's July, it's the end of July and I'm planning May. Uh, if you watched my last video, actually my last video, I think is gonna be a pre-plan for this next coming week. I have to film, film that right after this. Her paper is so nice. I love this full box. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk while I pull some of these off um, and line them up here on my board. But if you watched, two videos ago. Um, it was just me basically talking as to where I've been and why it was really important and necessary for me to um, take the step back for the moment. The weight of everything, of life, of Black Lives Matter just really got to me and I needed that time to, I, I honestly couldn't get motivated to plan at all. It was just a lot to really take in and, and um, planning seemed very very wrong and even now like I just am having um, a hard time getting motivated to plan I don't know why um, the weight of the world is just really 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 heavy right now as everyone knows we're all going through this it's it's not easy it's really hard to navigate um, so anyways that was that video all summed up basically and now I'm back. So it's been a minute of planning, of, of not planning actually is a better way to put it. Um, so thank you for bearing with me. Oh my gosh, these full boxes are so pretty and I really, really like her paper. I'm just like off camera having this conversation with you, but I mean, we're here to catch up and chit chat, right? 
so pretty okay let me rearrange because we all know how good i am at multitasking i'm not good at all let me rearrange here and then we'll come back and we'll just kind of keep talking oh, i loved her paper that was really nice really great experience pulling this off oh my goodness only things planner girls see okay that took longer than it should have again it's been a while so i'm a bit rusty okay just a little bit it's fine yeah okay here we go um yeah so it's so weird to be planning um i'm like super excited though today i think is the first day that i've actually felt motivated and really was down to sit down and plan and film um a couple nights ago maybe actually last weekend i was like you know what i posted um, my black lives matter video here and now it's just time to get back planning and get back into the groove of things and just like get into a good headspace because this is my happy place and i've talked to a lot of people and i think a lot of people can relate even even you might be able to relate but i just the i i keep talking in circles but i keep just saying everything so, feels so heavy i didn't it i don't know how I was able to sit down and plan or film and when I'm not filming I'm not planning and when I'm not planning I don't have a hobby or an outlet of me and creativity so it was just like a downward spiral of of messiness but I'm back I'm I'm actually feeling good um but you know how I got here was um I was saying last week or how I got there last week I was like suck it up start planning um and so i sat down and i wasn't into it i hated the spread i did i had to stop filming um actually my memory card was full and i was like you know what this is just a good sign and a good reason for me to be like just because like i don't know because this is my happy place and things like that it's my happy place because i can be creative and I can, I've made friends in this community and I can film and I can edit and I can upload and all of that stuff. Um, it's not my happy place when I can't be creative or I feel like I'm just, I don't know. You know what I mean? Does, it, does this make sense at all? I don't know why I went to go pull this. Where are the rest of the pages? Up here probably, here we are. Okay, so let's do the sidebar here. We have cut strips of washi. Okay, actually, maybe let's do. Oh, look at that! Those are little dots. So she has five heart or five bow checklists, and then a whole set of three heart checklists. Oh my goodness! You just get so much. Okay, so. Um. Okay. That can go on our sidebar. Oh, here we are. Two. Okay, where are half boxes? Oh, they're on this page as well. Oh, and then cut strips of washi. Boom! Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So, was I... There was a reason I started that story. I know there was. Um... So, yeah. So, last weekend I stopped planning when I was middle in the midst of filming I just stopped um and a few nights later I ended up sitting on my bed watching no more girls I was really really sad I actually posted an insta story it was on two dollar Tuesday and I went and picked up Nettie Designs two dollar Tuesday because I was laying down some of her stickers and they looked stunning so I went to go pick up some more or her like newest releases and she had re-released some of the ones I was using and I was watching my favorite TV show which is Gilmore Girls and I was just sitting in my bed I had so many stickers it was a hot mess all around me but I loved every second of it and I've never planned like that in all of my time planning I've never sat anywhere else besides um, at a table with a camera filming um, and it was just weird but it was it was it kind of re sparked things if that makes sense like it just re-reminded me like hello why aren't you planning this is something that puts you in a really good headspace 
don't don't fall into a bad place when you could be sitting and planning. But then again, like I said, it's also a big part of me to, do I wanna use this one? To really wanna film, I think that's like, it's a whole, it's a whole thing, right? Like I just, oh wait, two, four, six, that's not gonna work. It's really pretty, but that will not work. Okay. Do you guys ever just love picking up two, four, six? So it's gonna have to be this. Oh, like that was beautiful to pick up. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> These two are the same background. Is that gonna bug me? I don't know. Guess we're just gonna be testing the waters here. Here in general, so we'll just do it. And then, where'd our blushy strips go? So obviously I'm here. I have so many planner ideas. I have so many video ideas. Well, planner ideas means video ideas for me because I just, I haven't said it enough, love filming. Um, and yeah, so I'm excited. It's going to be good. Back into a good headspace. Not using those, although you could totally do another week of that or put them in another planner, which is probably what I'll be doing. Now let's figure out some headers here. So we've got our bottom washi and then we have this. So... Um, I don't think I'm going to use the bottom washi. I'll use that in a different planner. I really wish I could use this pink scalloped one down there at the bottom. Um, but there's just not enough of that. So I'm going to put that aside. And I'm feeling... Okay, I think let's do... I've never mixed up my headers, like different, like if I did that, oh, but that would be so pretty. Okay, you know what, in the, in the spirit of trying new things, should I try, but you know, you could also try too many new things and then just hate it and not know which new thing you don't like, right? And then I'm thinking, let's go a little bit brighter pink down here at the bottom. Perfect, and then let's just pop a date cover up at the top there and see what we think. Great. So, um, with trying these new things, what I think, okay, I'm kind of feeling like I wanna mix this up. It sounds crazy, it really does, but I'm just gonna try it. So I think what people do is, so this would go here, and then, right? Cause it kind of, you would do it diagonal, I think. And then I think that means this would go up here. So if you feel like <laughs> you want to comment or you feel inspired, can we just talk about the different planning styles, um, your different planners, because I just want to know, <laughs> like I think we all kind of have a main, are you minimalistic? So that's something I've been following um, cloth and paper for a really long time now actually. And I've just never bought anything from her. I've never tiptoed into that area yet. I've seen um, Amanda from My Life Stuck on Paper has really taken full, she's really embraced that life and I love it. Um, it's so great, but if we can feel comfortable and confident um, 
down in the comments, comment down what planners you use. Um, and then how do you plan? Do you do a little, um, do you do headers like, okay, but see, do you do headers like this? Now see, is this weird? Does this throw us off? Does it throw us off? Is serious question. I should have chose a different header rather than done two bows and one solid. It should have been like a solid trip of a different pattern washi, huh? Okay, rookie mistake. First time though, not a horrible mistake. Hmm. This is a head turner for sure. Like this looks beautiful. I love that. That's a good thing. Maybe if I want to mix it up, I just do something like that. Okay. I started to say, okay. Yeah. So just comment down below, um, what kind of planning style you do. If you do a little mix of the, the headers, do you have multiple planners? Just I don't know. I just kind of want to open up that conversation. DM me if you don't want to uh, comment. I don't know. And yeah. Okay. You know what? You can always pick up stickers. We have undo. This community has undo. So what does this mean now? Okay. So I think... I think we go here. So, since I'm trying out no checklists um, or check boxes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump off um, talking on camera and just kind of, oh wait, oh man. Can you tell I'm going into old habits? Wow, that was really easy to pick up. Her paper is really nice, you guys. I really would suggest her shop. I believe she's um, located in Europe. So this would go up here. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna jump off camera and just kind of do this with some Gilmore Girls. Gosh, I've been just talking to myself with my camera off. Anyways, I was saying, um, I feel like I could probably, I would probably stress myself out if I was just sitting here talking and jibber jabbing because we all know I cannot multitask for the life of me. Um, so, I think, yeah, I'm just gonna do this some, or do my daily planning, um, like the memories or whatever, day by day, off camera, but I will jump on as like a voiceover. Um, and then if we love it, if we just love it, what I come up with, the, the look of it, if you will, um, then I will, won't, or I'll be able to talk through it next time because I'll kind of have a sense. You know what I mean, okay? Does that make sense? Like the unknown sometimes is really scary, right? <laughs> Not even sometimes, it is always really scary. For me personally, like this is so funny. I saw a tweet the other day and it was like, does anybody else get really stressed out about going somewhere new and not knowing the parking situation? And if I could relate to a tweet more, Seriously, I is that weird? Is that odd? I mean, obviously not. Someone had tweeted it and had gone viral. So other people are clearly feeling the same way, but I mean, you know what I mean? Okay, this is really pretty. I love this. I think I love this just because it's Harriet Wright designs. Like I just love her whole jam she's got going on here she's amazing and she's got really amazing artwork and designs and um kits so I can't wait to go pick up some more I don't know if I have actually any more of her kits maybe one more I think I picked up from her during a sale and now after using one we're kind of hooked am I right or am I right okay here we go. Oh my gosh, you wanna hear something so sad? Today, I found out that Sam from Happy Scrappy is not going to be doing any more um, subscription boxes. And I haven't been subscribed for a while, but it, when you watch my 
um, or not a while, but for a couple months. But when you watch my July haul, I got my April box and it made me so happy. And now seeing that it's her 75th month in a row releasing Happy Scrappy Box. Okay, you guys, I'm not mad at the headers. I'm really not. Um, okay, wait, hang on, going back. Um, yeah, I just, honestly, she had such an amazing subscription box. You guys know I would have kept it if I could, but um, oh, it, it bums me out, and it, it hurts to hear her talk about it just because she seems very torn up about it, but um, I think the weight or just with everything going on in the world right now really got to her business unfortunately but she says she's coming out with new and better things and i fully fully believe it she's such an amazing creator um entrepreneur she's phenomenal so i'm really excited to see what she comes out with but that being said i'm really heartbroken to see her subscription boxes go hopefully in the future it's something she brings back and um, can do. Obviously, it's something that's very close to her ha heart and um, all of her consumers, this community. I mean, so many people loved it. I wish I had, um, like, weak foiled scripts. Maybe I can get those customs, but at this point, does it really matter? Because I hate my freaking handwriting. This is the week that I got stressed out about. It was my sister's birthday week, which was on the 5th, and then it was also Mother's Day, but, but ugly, ugly alert, anyways, okay, so I think, um, let's go ahead and jump off camera now, actually, hang on, let's do, I'm gonna take this black, oh, excuse me, I'm gonna put this right here, because normally I would use a happy, or happy scrappy, oh, sadness, um, I would do Clever Girl Crafts, and actually, now that I say that, I totally can do that. I normally do her, these big ones, but I have her tiny little guys, which, silly, silly me. I could do that in the future, but that looks beautiful. So, I'm going to go ahead and go in day by day. Let's see how this turns out. Hopefully, it's beautiful. Um, you know what? I just noticed I need day dots. Let's do that. I'm going to get out my beloved. Oh my gosh. I forgot I had these panda bird designs corners. Oh, I'm so going to be pulling these out. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I'm excited. Let's get a little creative. Let's see how this turns out. Hopefully we love it. If not, well, I mean, we will go backwards to... Oh, I could use those. 11, wait, what am I doing? 17, 11 to 17, that's perfect. Does this ever happen to you? Like, why can't I just stick to one sheet? Oh, 11, oh, nuggets. Oh, 11, 15. Sometimes I try to piece them together, but it doesn't work out always. Oh, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14. Do I have a 15, 16, 17? Do I have, oh, 15 people okay do I do that or should I knock some of these out I'm gonna keep I don't know like I just have a random 31 I probably could throw this sheet away am I ever gonna use that 31 and this I probably could throw this sheet out away too but I just can't you know like they're foiled, valuable goodness. Valuable goodness. I just can't. Right? Do you know what I, do you know what I mean? I'll find you. I'll number the. I'll piece those numbers together. What am I doing? Okay, I'm doing. Here, let's do 10 to 15, 16, 17. Actually, I'm gonna go 16, 17. I'll leave 18 as the lone little soldier down there. So Jackson Pepper, um, oh, I need to place an order with Jackson Pepper. Oh, I'm going for 10. I don't even need 10. Have you guys noticed that if your stickers are older, um, that they don't pick up as nicely? Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous, darling. 
like the bottom of it starts peeling up as well, not just the sticker part, the bottom of the paper. Can you tell it's been a while since I've talked to you? I am just chit-chatting away here. I am, yeah. So for pre-planning, oh no, okay, okay, oh man. How do we do Wednesday? Stupid Wednesday, it's such a long name. Okay, oh man. Oh, we did it, we freaking did it. Oh, whatever. No turning back now. Wednesday's got a long name. Um, so for pre-planning, I don't think this next, com this upcoming week has many plans, to be honest. Does it? Oh man, Saturday's long too. Okay, learn from Wednesday. I can't learn from Wednesday. Learn from Wednesday, learn from it. But if I go over, I'm in the, I'm in the open space. I didn't learn. Whatever. Whatever. Oh wait, oh my Lanta. Who was yelling at me? Oh my, okay, I just made a big boo-boo. Oh my, and I'm almost out of undo. We don't have time to make mist, oh, I don't have any undo. Oh my gosh, I have no undo. I have no undo. <gasps> I don't have any undo. I have no undo. Oh my gosh, I don't have undo. Okay. I knew not picking some up was going to come back and bite me in the tushy. Oh my goodness, what does one do? What, oh, oh my God, what does one do? I don't. Oh. It's fine. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh my god, this is gonna bug me. It's too late. I'm just gonna have to run to my goals. No, I'm not running anywhere. We're in the middle of a pandemic, I'm ordering off of Amazon right now. Oh, actually, I'm due. Okay, but then, okay, if I, if I circle back to this, do you think they'll be too stuck down? Undo, adhesive remover. Right there, $24. What the? Okay, well, apparently I'm going to Michael's. $24 for a two pack? I say, are they really twelve dollars each? Um, no, no, ma'am. The twenty ninth. What day did I say it was? The twenty fifth. Oh my gosh, I'm running to my goals. Oh, that's such a selfish reason to go out. What do I do? Can nobody offer me better? This is funny. Um, undo and the whiteout. Do you think planner girls have taken over? Love us. Girls and men, I'm sorry. Goodness, this is what we need right here. Just, but like not go, go, gone. We need a giant thing of undo like this. <laughs> Just that giant, massive bad boy right there to refill. I would be on board with that. Okay, well this is not helping me. Okay, you know what? There's nothing I can do. So I'm just gonna breathe it out. And, and just, I can't control whatever. it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in day by day and try not to let that bug me more than it is. Anyways. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. All right, so this is my second time editing and voicing over this video. I'll talk about it in my next plan with me. Well, it'll be the first week of June. It's plan with me that I will talk about it, but it was so frustrating. Nonetheless, this spread is absolutely stunning. Okay, stunning. And I just have to upload this. So I 
have gone through all the precautions that I need to do to do that. So let's start going in day by day. I started using these Panda Bird Designs um, flags for the very first time and oh my gosh, are they stunning? I don't know why I'm on the I'm late on this bandwagon, but now that I'm there, I'm kind of addicted and I cannot wait for her shop to reopen because they are so beautiful. I ended up using them to mark my time with my nephews. I've been watching them this quarantine. So um, yeah, I took that and just put that over there in the corner, as you can see. And then I took the two little bees dots that I'm obsessed with and put three down. And then to add a little something that was missing, I put these Nutty Designs bows. They are seriously so perfect to just place on an icon throughout your spread as deco, um, to place in full boxes. They're so versatile and so functional and I just love them to pieces. And I really think it brought that box to life and those dots just that extra pop it needed um and then going down i had okay i grabbed my planner so going down i used a samantha may sticks i believe um scalloped calendar to mark an appointment i had dinner with my dad and my little sister so i used my favorite meal icons from rose colored days and then I spent the night with my sister and we just kind of um, played games and ran some errands, which sounds weird to say because we were in the middle, we still are in the middle of a pandemic, um, but it was really nice. So I used a car sticker from Paper Blush Bar and then three dots from the kit. On Tuesday, I went ahead and put down a scallop quarter box to mark that our governor, um, the governor of Arizona, decided to announce that all major sports, gyms, pools um, were opening up on Friday, which was honestly terrifying um, and needed to be marked down in my planner. And then also that day, actually Tuesday the 12th, um, all restaurants in Arizona were open. They were allowed to open on the 12th, so so I marked that, and then I messed around with what I did after that for a little bit. So as you can see, I wanted to use this arrow flag, but I thought it was just too matchy-matchy with um, the box above. So I went in with a couple of different things, but ultimately decided to go with a flag from the kit, um, and then use... Um, a stethoscope because Tuesday was the day of all the doctor's appointments, okay? So I used a th st stethoscope, gosh, words are hard, a stethoscope to mark that I had two appointments that morning. Um, after that, I took an adorable icon from the Pretty Pink Co. I'm loving their icons. I think they're absolutely amazing. Um, they, I've used the $2 Tuesday ones and I just adore them to pieces. I can't wait to go pick up some more. After that, I went and stopped by my older sisters, so I just used another paper blush bar car. And then after that, another doctor's appointment, so I just took a stethoscope all by itself to mark that. And then that afternoon, I had to go take my... Um, car to the shop. So I used an adorable sticker from Oso oh Papery to mark that and make it a little bit more exciting than it was actually than I actually was because it was dreadful. <laughs> but um yeah and then oh you can see me just not knowing what to do there. I messed around with that for quite some time but ultimately I think it worked out pretty well. It looks really good. I just love the way this kit turned out. I really have no complaints. I think it's beautiful. Also, I'm using um, my headphones, which I learned from TikTok, to use the little volume button as the microphone. So if this sounds weird, or I know my S's or T's are sounding really strong, but I hope it sounds okay. Um, I don't know. Anyways, um, after I dropped off my car at the shop, I filmed. So I used the film script and the icon from Rose Colored Days. So while we're kind of playing catch up, um, I started watching a new show today called Sweet Magnolia. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm hooked. Honestly, I'm only on the episode, second episode, okay? Um, it's kind of, it's totally a 
chick flick if that makes sense but I really really like it and uh, it's really odd for me to be watching or branching out to something other than Gilmore Girls or Friends honestly I mean I restarted what or I started not restarted because I never watched it but I was watching um New Girl yeah I've totally stopped watching that although I thought it was a great show like I can want to continue to watch it but I just can't I have no follow-through clearly <laughs> anyways uh, Sweet Magnolia I really really like it we'll talk about more of that later though okay so now we're on to Wednesday, doing the whole beautiful shebang for my time with my nephews. So the beautiful panda bird designs, flag, corner flag, the three dots from two little bees, and then the nutty designs bows, which is actually what I end up going um, through and doing at the end. I leave the dots blank, and then at the end I go through and put um, Wednesday through Friday the bows on those dots at the end for the final little touches I don't know if I like forgot and just like decided to do that or I don't know saving time <laughs> anyways um so look at this freaking adorable little munchkin now this isn't the best situation okay but I love the munchkin the munchkin that I was able to use for it. So this munchkin has like wide eyes and is pushed up against a pillow like kind of like over like didn't sleep or anxiety. Well, I got a call from my boss and said that someone that was in the building when I was to pack up my kids things like their cubbies and their artwork and stuff like that. Um Oh, I didn't mention that, but that's what that paper clip was for. I like had to pack up my kids' stuff. Um, that someone that was in the school had tested positive for COVID, so she had called to let me know that, and I had to be extra on guard, quarantine myself, and um, warn my family and such about that because that's scary, and I did not want to be the cause of spreading it more. Anyways, definitely had to mark that because I was so on guard about it. I was so freaked out. Um, but anyways, <laughs> that's what that was for. So then I went in and took my meal icons from Rose Color Days, which I have thought I had dinner with my sister and her family, um, which when I got the call, I was with my sister. I've been working for my sister um, by watching the boys. So I've been around them every single day and quarantining, quarantining with them. So, um, she was like, if you were exposed and you potentially have it, then we are exposed. Sorry, that was probably loud in your ear. Um, but I do remember once I got the call, I remember driving home freaking out because, um, I felt so guilty for being around my my sister and the kids because I definitely did not want to give it to them. My sister is immune co or um, has like what's it called immune com compromise um, and then I have two little nephews and then of course my brother-in-law so I was really freaking out about it so I can't imagine having dinner with them but I mean it says I did compromised immune system is the word I was looking for. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the plan with me. Okay, so um, I took a FaceTime sticker from Fox and Pip and a FaceTime script from Kinsey's Creation on Thursday. I did that beautiful shebang for hanging out with my nephews. I was messaging my friends that I was FaceTiming and we were just giving really good advice and motivating each other. So I wanted to mark that down. I used a circle from the kit and a little chat bubble from Planning World. Took I took my beloved meal icon from Rose Color Days and then used this beautiful FaceTime sticker from Panda Bird Designs, which I love to pieces. It is a larger sticker, so it needs to take up a full box, but um, it's so stunning and it worked out perfect because all I had going on for the rest of the day, that day really was I FaceTimed um, my friend and coworker. And yeah, the I took the Kinsey's Creations FaceTime sticker. 
on Friday. Friday was the day that the state reopened, so I took a, another scalloped quarter box. I went in at the end with a COVID-19 sticker from Kidsy's Creation and placed that on top. On the bottom right corner of Friday's first box is a piggy bank from Crafts by Towie. That whole beautiful shebang right there in the middle of hanging out with my nephews. That night I picked up my car, which was so crazy, but I have a cute sticker marking it, so it's fine. Um, and the sticker is from Oso Papery, okay? And then I had dinner and I used my meal icon from Rose Color Days. On Saturday, Saturday was such an exciting day. My, well, I mean, we knew it was coming because my cousin went into labor on Thursday, but Saturday, okay, Saturday the 16th, um, my nephew was born. Not my nephew. That is such lies. My cousin's son was born. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, yeah. Saturday was actually also my grandpa's birthday, Saturday the 16th, I believe. My grandpa um, passed away, so it was really exciting that he was born on my grandpa's birthday. Anyways, his name's Connor, and he's adorable. Okay, <laughs> so I did loads of laundry, so I used from a Rose Color Days sampler, I used a script saying laundry, okay, and I think that was from um, Nikki's hand, like Nikki's handwriting. And then a laundry basket. Saturday was also a really busy day of FaceTiming, so I used my Panda Bird Designs FaceTime sticker. And then right below it, I actually put a Fox and Pip face, like facial face mask girl, because I did FaceTime facials with my auntie. And that was really nice. We caught up and we um, did FaceTimes, and it was just really nice girl time. FaceTime, not FaceTimes. <laughs> And then I put a wine sticker from, oh, that was probably really loud. I'm sorry, I'm getting used to this headphone thing, but I actually kind of like it, I think. Anyways, the wine sticker is from the Pretty Pink Co. Again, love her icons, love their icons. And then below that, which you can't see, but below that I took a Planning World FaceTime script. My dad FaceTimed his friends, and it was so funny, you guys. His friends are back in Illinois, and they were um, drunk, and they FaceTimed my dad, and then my dad was walking around giving them a tour of the house and showing them my dogs on his iPad. It was so freaking hilarious. Um, so I had to mark that, of course. On Sunday, I went to church, virtual church, so um, I took a crafts by Towie church icon and then a Kinsey's Creations church script. I used a Luke's coffee mug here because I um, wrote coffee 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 in my planner and if you guys watch Gilmore Girls you would know Lorelai says I need coffee 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 like it's urgent <laughs> is what she says so I had to use that because I put coffee 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 in my planner. I mean, it was only fitting, right? So from Planning World, I took a laundry um, or like a washing machine icon because I washed my sheets. I took a FaceTime date sticker from Fox and Pip and a FaceTime script from Kinsey's Creation. And then I took a um, Planning World FaceTime phone sticker and a church script because my auntie really wanted to go to church so we ended up FaceTiming and logging on at the same time. I just went with her, went again because um, she's also my godmother. And then below that I took another FaceTime script, or not FaceTime script, I'm holding that. No, below that I took another Planning World FaceTime sticker. And oh by the way I forgot to mention on the day that I was going on about my cousin's son being born, um, those balloons that I put on top of that half box are um, from White Deer Stationery. Oh, the spread. I can't, I just can't get over it. I love it to pieces. Um, I posted a picture on my Instagram just like of the kit, not of this layout yet because I, I don't know. Usually when I post the video first, like my YouTube video, and then 
who am I kidding? I don't post on Instagram ever. It's something I'm trying to get better at. I'm really loving being creative with the pictures, so hopefully I can just stay on top of that. Anyways, if you made it this far with watching, thank you so much. I've had the hardest time trying to get this video exported and my laptop just was not allowing that. Again, story time to come soon. This is my second time recording all of this, so I thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for bearing with me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, this is how it looks like before the pen. I'm obsessed, um, and I will show you what it looks like here um, after. Personal, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on high and eat us. Okay, so it looks like I lost the final clip where I actually came back live and talked in person, unfortunately. Um, but hey, if that's the only clip out of this entire thing that I lost, I'm not going to complain um, because we have the whole video. Anyways, you get to see how this turned out, see what's left over in the kit. I really enjoyed every single thing of this kit, everything about this kit, the paper, the design, the color, the stickers. It was phenomenal, and I cannot wait to place another order with Harriet Wright Designs. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for bearing with me, for watching it, and supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. Like I said, from the bottom of my heart, it really means a lot. I hope you are staying happy, healthy, and in good, positive spirits. Thank you so much for watching again, and until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye! I'm on hiatus Ooh, I'm on hiatus uh -oh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be